In this video, we'll continue on with our point of sale system, and this is part 18. So, what we're going to solve now is the item that we have here. So, basically, we have this, but something here is not registering if we select these options here. So, let's start working on this. And luckily, this is a very straightforward process because we're going to grab an array that we have referred to before. So, what we're going to do here is we just scroll down here, or if you want to figure out where it is, Let's open up the developer tab. All right, you can see a lot of things here. Don't get confused about that. The only thing that we need to click here is on this, uh, not on the button, sorry, but on the total item here. Here we grab this, and then you see here the big ID, which is this one, is has the ID name of total items. This is the JavaScript reference here that we're going to use. So if you do a Control F, and then we start to do uh, total items, we can search for it. You can see here. Total items, all right, that's not the one I want. We go next, we get here the function name, and this is probably the function name as well. And we go and search for it, and this is it here. So what we want to do here is the following. We want to grab now, instead of here, the order item array, we want to have the total quantity. So we're going to get the quantity array. So let's search for the name for that one is the order item, where is it? The order item quantity. This is the one we want to work with. And then what we're going to do here is very similar to this, except we're going to copy this. We say this one, inner text. And then we say here, equal. And what we want to do now is because basically what we're doing is this. Let me just show you so you have an understanding of it. We have this console.log. Save this, refresh. Click, click, click. All right, open up the developer tab. And then if you click here on the plus and minus, you can see it calculates. And what is important is basically this here. This is an array. But what we want to do now is we want to sum the array. So we want to plus, 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 add them all up to each other. So we do this by using the reduce functionality. So JavaScript has the reduce functionality. So let's start to work with this. So we say here, let's go get this one and uncomment this or comment this out. And then we say here document dot get and by ID, all right, in a text, and equal to what exactly? Well, what we need is the following. We need to use the reduce functionality. For that, we will need first the array, where we want to calculate, which is the order item quantity, which is basically this one here. And then, what we want to do here is the following. We're going to say dot reduce. And once we do reduce, we have to use here basically a uh, function in, in itself. So this is a function itself, and we have two values. We have here like the total, comma, and we have here the number. And the number, these terms can be anything. The most important thing that you will know that these numbers are basically based on this. The number, num, is just this. And then the total is just the sum of this plus, it just starts with zero. So it's a plus one, zero plus one, and then after it's one plus two equals three, and three plus one equals four. So that's what it really does. So what we're going to do here is that our functionality, and then we say here the following, we want to return a certain value. So we return, and what do we return? Well, basically total plus num. Well, we could just do it in here. Let's do this. There we are. And once we have this, if we save this now, you can see here now this works nicely. Am I correct? Well, not even. All right, so we have to see what is going on. All right. So there's something going on here. And the reason why right now is probably because if we do the minus, let's see here, if I click on this, and then we do this. All right, no, I'll do that. All right, you can see what is happening. It triggers only when we selected this. If we do this, it should happen something when nothing is happening. If I click on this, pay attention to the auto, total item. All right, so then it recognizes it. So what is going on here is probably that the reference to this here is not being made on the change. So what I'm going to do here is to look here. We have here the total items. And I guess we can move maybe this total items, not only in when we deduct this. Okay, so let me just be clear here. This is the increment here. So the increment is not being recognized here. But if I do a minus, it doesn't recognize as well. All right. That's fair enough. So let's start to recognize this one. So I thought the minus will work, but maybe it only works if it is equal to zero, as you can see here. So if I do this, 
go down to zero, then it should recognize. There you are. So that would mean that the functionality here is triggered only this here. But what I want to do here as well, then probably you can see that you can already figure out later on the cost item will be exactly similar. Although they will be more complicated, by the way. So yeah, the total item should be in here. So I can, this console log could maybe basically be removed. We just put it here, this. If I save this now, and then I refresh, let's see what happens. Plus, all right. If I deduct, all right. And if I add more, there you are. So this is nice. So it works all very beautifully. And then you notice one thing here. The moment we do this on zero, we get an error. And the reason why we get now an error is reduce array will not allow you to have zero items. And it makes sense, of course, because reduce expects you have a value in the array. If there's no array, uh, if there's no value in the array, there's no need for summing up the values. So this will mean we need to do a, a, a check, basically. So that will mean here, this one can be removed. I'll just leave it in there just for so you can see that. But here, what is the check? It's very simple. Let me remove this console log. We don't need this. It's all access baggage. Here, we want to have a check that says the following. Do we have any values in the order item quantity? So if there's any value in the array, if there is, do something. How do we check if there's any value? Well, remember this functionality here, the length. So we say here if then we say if dot length, let's see if this one works, or do we need to do really if dot length above uh, zero? So we're going to say this, we put it in here. Let's see, I thought this should work as well. If the length, if there would be any length at that moment, we should do something. So let's save this and see if this works. Click, click, all right, plus plus, and minus, all right, and a minus, there you are. So now you can see it's recognize this. So basically this if statement here just only says if there would be a length. If there's no length, it will not be triggered because there's nothing at all. So if there is a length, how many length there is, doesn't matter. As long as there's any more than one item in the array, basically, or more than zero. There should be one minimum of one item. And that is basically how we solve this. So now we have done this one. And I think probably the next one would be very good to have the specific total amount that will be in the next video.